Hi boys and girls, today we're going to learn about Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol is from my hometown of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and he was a very famous pop artist, and he was a printmaker and a photographer. Andy Warhol was one of the first and most famous pop artists of all time. Pop art is a style of art based on simple, bold images of everyday items, such as a soup can, which is painted in a bright color. Pop artists created pictures of consumer product labels and packaging, photos of celebrities, comic strips, and animals. Pop art can be found on lots of things that you see every day. On this slide, I gave you some examples of where you may have seen pop art and not even realized that you were looking at it. You'll see on here I added a candy wrapper. You can find it on movie posters, comic strips, soup can labels, and even fast food advertisements. Which leads us into our next project, a pop art cupcake. Our learning goal for this project is we're going to be producing a work of art through drawing that utilizes types of lines, shapes, textures, and movement. Our learning target for this project are I can get ideas from my imagination, so you're going to come up with details for your cupcake. I can use lines in my art because anytime our pencil or a marker or anything we're using to draw touches a piece of paper and starts and ends somewhere is a line, we're going to be using lots of lines when we draw. And I can use movement in my art because we're going to show movement in the different types of lines that we draw. Some of the materials listed for this project are optional, but the materials that you will need is you will need a piece of paper or something to draw on. You will need something to draw with. I recommend a pencil in case you make a mistake, then you can use your eraser to erase it. Markers are optional, crayons are optional, paint is optional, pastels are optional, and colored pencils are optional. I always encourage you to add color to your pictures, but if you do not have those materials, you do not have to worry about it. Even though I'll be doing a step-by-step -step instruction here in just a moment on the video, I'm also going to provide you the option to view or print these directions. All right, let's get started. All right, boys and girls, now we're ready to create our pop art cupcake. First thing I want you to do is find a piece of paper or a brown paper bag, something that you can draw on, making it longer this way from top to bottom, which is vertical, and that's also hamburger style. Once we set it down, get something to draw with. You can use a pencil, a pen, a marker. I recommend using a pencil in case you make a mistake. And we are going to get started. All right, so in the center area is where we're going to start our drawing. And for this drawing, remember, we're focusing on lines and movement with our lines. So the first lines that we're gonna create are two diagonal lines, and they're gonna be right towards the middle of our paper. So we're gonna start around here, and we're gonna create one, and on the other side, two, and then right straight across at the bottom, we're gonna add a straight line, straight across. And that is our step one. Our step number two, we're going to add a wavy line right at the top, and this is gonna be the base of our cupcake, and now we're gonna start creating the icing layers on our cupcake. So now we're gonna start, remember, we're making a curvy line all the way across. Our next step, our step three, we're going to create another wavy line on top that's gonna to connect from this end to this end. So we're gonna start here and we're going to go up and extend this curve and it's gonna go down and wiggle its way, curvy all the way around to the other side. Our next step, our step four, we're gonna add another layer of a wiggly line, curvy line up top. For the next layer of our icing, so we're gonna start, we're gonna go around and we're gonna wiggle our curve line around. Our step five, we're gonna add another layer, so we're adding a third layer, so right now we have one layer two layers and now we're going to go in for our third layer nice tall icing on our cupcake and now for our step six we're going to add a nice big cherry to the top of our cupcake so we add a little circle to the top step number seven we're going to add, add something to the bottom of our cupcake 
that's going to be kind of like a plate or maybe a circular napkin. And it's gonna start halfway in. So if you wanna make a little mark here and a little mark here, make those two little marks so that we know that when we start going out and around, we're gonna connect it to that other dot. So we're gonna start here where we made our first dot. We're gonna go around the bottom, up, and we're gonna connect it to the other side. And that is going to complete part of our plate. So now we're ready for step eight and we're gonna add some straight lines into our cupcake so that we can see the bottom part of our cupcake. So this is kind of like the wrapper that a cupcake would come in. So we're adding our lines into the wrapper of our cupcake. And then our step number nine, I'm gonna let you go ahead and add whatever kind of designs that you'd like to, to your cupcake. And, but first, let's make sure that we anchor our cupcake down because right now our cupcake looks like it's floating in air. So we need to anchor it down. We need to make it look like it's sitting on something. So we're gonna start right around here. You should have a little space in between the icing and the plate. We're gonna go anywhere in between there. And we're gonna start here and we're gonna go all the way out to the edge of the page. So we're gonna take our line and we're gonna go all the way out. And then we're going to, with our finger, imagine that it's going through our cupcake because we don't wanna draw a line through our beautiful cupcake. We just wanna make a pretend one. So then we come out and we make our other line all the way out. Now it looks like it's sitting on a table. You can go ahead and add a stem to our cherry. And now you can go ahead and add some designs if you want to add some sprinkles to your cupcake. You could add some sprinkles. If you want to add a background behind your cupcake, you can add a background behind your cupcake. And right now, because again, we're focusing on this being a drawing, you don't have to add any <clears throat> color unless you want to. I always encourage you to add color so you can use whatever you'd like to to add color if you have something. And this is going to conclude our pop art cupcake. And what makes it pop art is that when we do add the color and we have the bold lines and the big shapes, that's how we know that this is a pop art project. So now go ahead if you want and add some color. If not, go ahead and upload your project now.